Hey guys, Degas here from Go Boxing TV and a quick fight review then on Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano from last night's bout at Madison Square Garden. I've caught up this morning and watched the fight in full. I was out last night at a wedding, so unfortunately I couldn't watch it live, but I've watched the full thing back and it was an outstanding fight. Outstanding. They have made history in women's boxing. That is not only one of the best women's fights I've ever seen, it's one of the best fights in boxing that I've ever seen. I do think that the result was right, just, just about. We couldn't have been disappointed if it had been a draw, but I did have it, Katie, by one or two rounds. I think Katie started off really well, Got into a boxing on the back foot, but boxing well. Just picking her shots. Kate is very, very cute with her shots. And if you blink, you'll miss it. But yeah, the first three rounds, I think Kate took all three rounds just about. It was a very, very even contest. Pretty much 50-50. And then I think four, five, six, Amanda Serrano came back. And then seven... Yeah, that was a tough round to call. And then the 10th round was very, very close. Could have gone either way. Um, like I say, I think a draw, you you wouldn't have, have been able to complain really at a draw. But I do think that Katie Taylor just edged it on the boxing ability. Yes, Amanda Serrano was the more aggressive fighter on the front foot coming forward. But again, it's all about styles. And, you know, some people like that come forward style. So I can understand why people would probably give Amanda Serrano the fight and just edging it maybe on a round. So, yeah, it's, it is one of those fights where it was really tough to call. Even one of the judges had it the other way. But on a personal level, my opinion is that that was just about the right result um, so you guys let me know in the comments now <clears throat> I've had a couple of comments on some of my previous videos and listen it's all good this is what I like this is what I like to do debate um, I like to hear different opinions from boxing fans you don't have to get personal some people are getting personal you don't have to get personal. You don't know what the outcome of a fight is going to be before it happens. No more than I do. It's all about opinions. It's no good writing a sentence and putting fact when it's not happened yet. And obviously I'm talking about people's opinions on the heavyweights, you know, who would beat who. And they haven't even fought. You just don't know that. So everybody's entitled to an opinion. Try not to get too personal. It is what it is. I don't understand why people have to lose their shit, you know. If you think that Amanda Serrano won the fight, good. Yeah, I can see how some people would score it for Amanda Serrano. Boxing is one of those sports. It's, you know, everybody, everybody has different styles. Me, I like to try and be neutral. I do honestly try and be neutral, but... <clears throat> saying that, I do like the art of boxing. I like the boxing style. And to me, it doesn't matter if someone's on the back foot as long as they're showing their boxing skills and they're picking their shots. Like I said earlier, Katie Taylor is very, very clever. She's very cute with those shots. If you blink, you'll miss it. She's a very, very talented boxer. Um, and I think she just got the fight last night. She just about got it. Um, but as I say, a draw, you couldn't have argued. Let me know your opinions in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up and share my videos if you want. I'm grateful just for the views though. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.